So Kinetic, several years ago, uh, the British uh, MOD spun off a number of their research laboratories into a private company, which eventually went public on the London Stock Exchange. And uh, that company now has to compete in the market with other companies, so it's not part of the British government anymore. Uh, since then, that company has also bought a number of um, U.S. companies, and so now we're a worldwide uh, security and defense company. Okay, and so we have a l large base in the UK, obviously. We have a very large base in the US, and we have a base uh, growing in Australia. Kinetic is here because uh, our products are really designed to save lives and protect assets. Uh, obviously, with uh, the world situation right now, security, particularly in India, is a very big uh, concern for people here. And we have uh, some very unique products that we think are very uh, innovative and right for the Indian market. Uh, we've been selling them around the world so far, and we're here to uh, promote them in India and to find partnerships to work with here. Have you sold a lot of products in India already? No, this is our. F we are just about to um, complete some sales uh, for some police. We have partners where we've sold some of our um, condition-based maintenance and oil analysis products, but some of the newer products we're just starting to introduce here. And uh, at this show, we've had a, just a tremendous amount of interest in some of our uh, security products, our bomb detection equipment, our robots, um, and some of our other products that uh, we really feel are right for this market. And uh, are you familiar with regulations in India? And have, are you comfortable working here? Do you think we have the manufacturing capabilities to support you? Uh, I think in a lot of cases you do. Um, the question is, do you get enough volume initially in order to make that worthwhile? Yeah. You know, uh, manufacturing and offsets and so forth are important, but on the other s uh, side, you know, you have to make it worthwhile for both sides to do that. And so, um, you know, again, we certainly want to live up to the regulations in India, and we're here to learn and we're here to uh, let people know what we have to offer. Okay. Thank you. So what we're showing here are two of our, the robots in our robot family. Uh, the first one you're looking at here is called Dragon Runner. Uh, the whole thing, it's very lightweight with the backpack, with the batteries, everything is only 22 kilos. Um, it's a very good uh, reconnaissance robot. It's used for squad level uh, reconnaissance and bomb disposal. You can actually pick this up and wear it in your, uh, on, on your back. And it's a very ruggedized, lightweight, small robot. We've had a lot of interest in this um, lower cost than the bigger robots as well. This robot here is called Talon. We have thousands of these robots in Iraq and Afghanistan right now. It's, uh, in, it's very configurable. In this configuration, we use it for uh, bomb disposal. You can also um, equip it with a shotgun for police type of applications. You can use it to look inside of vehicles or move, in, uh, move devices that you're uh, considering dangerous. And it's really designed, again, to keep people out of harm's way and, and deal with objects that you don't know how dangerous they are, or you may know how dangerous they are. So uh, this is the leading robot in, in ground robots for EOD right now in the world.